time now for a story about rumors and rumors of rumors. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. Uh, whoa, 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 that's going way overboard. There we go. Uh, James Gunn responds to Henry Cavill Superman rumors, and not really. Uh, Geekosity put out this thing about uh, that Henry Cavill's new contract includes TV appearances. And uh, really, well, that's odd, but uh, I, I thought they were pursuing more of a theatrical thing. Well, it could be both, because if they get the DCU films going, then they could explore, uh, you know, uh, spinoff television shows. I mean, Peacemaker Season 2 is, a, is coming. So uh, they could actually have Henry in it if they wanted to, instead of just a body double. Something like that. Well, James Gunn responded to it with, I'm not sure if you're purposely lying or being taken advantage of by someone lying to you, but as I've stated on here before, no one knows what's happening at DC Studios right now other than me and Peter. That would include writing up any new contracts for anyone at this point. So, is this him flat out saying there's no Henry Cavill contract? Because that's one of the other things. Uh, apparently, like the, the rap saying that he doesn't have any deal. Which would be really odd because... He said, yes, I'm back as Superman and all that, but no, nah, it's just the cameo in Black Adam. <laughs> uh, boy, that would be rather embarrassing. I suppose the scenario could go that uh, had Black Adam done better, it, it didn't didn't do very well. Um, then, oh, they'd be in a, 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 a better position uh, for Henry Cavill uh, being back as Superman. Um, but just that movie failing and that's the end of it I, hmm. <laughs> uh, so anyway but saying there's all these uh, contracts and they've already got it all but even if they did that doesn't mean it, hap it comes to fruition uh, I would definitely think there's a Superman film but actually uh, spelled out and settled and everything probably not which goes into this he doesn't flat out say uh, uh you know, Henry's not going to be Superman. He just doesn't say that he is. <laughs> so something that says very directly that he's uh, signed up already for films and then there will be these TV appearances, that's what he's responding to, that uh, at least some element of this is not true. And that's the deal with rumors. It can be true. It can be false. It can be oftentimes somewhere in between uh, so doesn't really direct it but then the article goes on well there's this other rumor <laughs> says he doesn't have anything um, and then refers that uh, gun actually said yes it's true well, what did he say it's true too well they said that you and Saffron are planning to reveal the new DC plans in the next two months is that true yes that is true revealing it to the WD team. <laughs> so, uh, that was that they said openly that they're working on the Bible for DC, uh, what the structure of that universe and everything. And he says to the WD team, so it, it, in two months, he doesn't say anything, don't be surprised. Because <laughs> then it means only me and Peter know what's going on. But by then, it'll be only me and Zasloff knows what's going on. <laughs> that would be the deal. Um, or not. Maybe in two months, they'll reveal a map and say, we're working hard for the next Superman film. Perhaps that's what they could do. Um, I don't know. But all this stuff about, you know, the scoopers and there's a bunch of people beating up on Geekosity and whatnot... Uh, you're going to get some wrong, you're going to get some right. I think it was Umberto Gonzalez was t throwing shade at He got stuff wrong, he gets stuff right. That's the way it goes. Um, and again, you hear stuff like this, and it turns out, well, it was kind of true, but it was really for this or that, and that kind of thing. And uh, that could very well uh, be the case. It would just, boy, I mean, it's weird times that the idea that they won't jump on this opportunity to sign him up as Superman... Um, I suppose it's possible, um, but oh, what a what a stupid thing to do. <laughs> uh, and also, it goes into that there's some uh, 
uh, no love lost between James Gunn and uh, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, they haven't uh, acknowledged one another publicly, so that's more than enough evidence that there's <laughs> there's a problem. Uh, but it could very well be. So what's the credibility there? Well, Black Adam didn't do very well, so that means whatever gravitas Dwayne Johnson had has now begun to fade, and that could very well be the case. Um, uh, because definitely James Gunn right now is in charge. Uh, so that's that. But, uh, you know, again, as he says, no one knows about him, and he didn't really say anything specifically to the status of Henry Cavill. Uh, that's about all there is to that for the moment. I mean, I may not know for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, it is odd that there is no acknowledgement between the two because right now, uh, the only active DC uh, film is Black Adam. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, hopefully uh, all's well and uh, they work that out because I would find it very odd if they don't jump at the opportunity for uh, Henry Cavill's Superman. So anyway. Meanwhile, over at that other universe, uh, uh, with the uh, massacre that happened recently when well, they took out Chapek <laughs> and put Bob Iger back in, who's the one who ruined uh, Star Wars and uh, uh, Marvel and all that. Uh, he bought up a lot of stuff and uh, hot properties, which you can understand why, and then handed it over to woke people who destroyed it. So, uh, and then, I don't know, they blamed Chapek for it, <laughs> who never really got in charge of the company. And, uh, Every movie made was uh, shouted down and everything, and then now they, uh, well, they they took him out. <laughs> so everyone was like, "Oh well, it's over. Just forget about it." There's never if it, if there was ever any real hope, which was dubious, uh, it certainly could dash now. Then all of a sudden, we get a rumor that Kathleen Kennedy is out. <laughs> now, how many times have you heard this one? Well, quite a bit, but. Uh, this comes from John Campia, who says, hey, look, I don't know, but he said he had two different sources. Uh, he says, one source is 1,000% on the money, and that while the other isn't 100% right all the time, a lot of insider info has panned out. Uh, he makes mention of the two because they were independent of each other. So he said, well, that's, that's interesting. So the idea is early as June, she could be out. Um, this would be after... Indiana Jones uh, 5 is released and had been he actually been hearing a rumor about that for quite some time that Indiana Jones would be her swan song uh, and then it got all disrupted Harrison Ford got injured um, people heard rumors again <laughs> about the plot which sounded just god awful uh, about him being retconned and replaced by Phoebe Waller-Bridge and all that stuff. And then the pictures come out. It seemed to confirm the time travel aspect, you know, with, uh, you know, German soldiers and uh, Roman centurions and all that sort of thing. Um, and certainly uh, there's going to be the scenes of uh, de-aged Harrison Ford playing young Indy and that kind of thing. So uh, they, they had aliens in the last one, so I guess time travel will be this one. But uh, uh, as for the overall replacing Indiana Jones uh, with this female character and her replacing him through time, <laughs> which would just be god-awful, uh, that would mean, okay, they're, they're booting Kathleen out, but before she leaves, she burns it down. Because <laughs> after... Uh, she's destroyed Star Wars, so what's left of Lucasfilm? Well, it's Indiana Jones, and then you burn that down. <laughs> it's like, what's the point of booting her out at that point? <laughs> it's too late. So, I, you know, I don't know, and I like why. You know, I, it, you you boot JPEG, uh, and then you do this. <laughs> I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, oh, there's some uh, credibility here. They talk about Michelle Rejuan, which was, uh, she got the boot. And um, and then the uh, Kennedy is ordered to stop announcing projects. Now, that was under JPEG, and they're still going to go with that. So it's it's odd. But um, what could be going on? Uh, why get rid of JPEG if you're just going to do stuff like this? Well, there's another rumor. <laughs> Once again, the rap. Um 
that Bob Iger's ultimate power move may be selling Disney to Apple. Uh, Apple is an entity that could buy uh, Disney. And I've thought about this for quite some time, that this might be a deal that could go forward. But there again, I don't think this explains why Chapek was let go. Uh, couldn't he have negotiated this? <laughs> um, the, the article goes in about Iger's relationship with people at Apple, that uh, he was friends with Steve Jobs, uh, apparently on good terms with Peter Cook, Peter, I mean Tim Cook, sorry, uh, is for Apple TV, they're looking to buy IP. They don't have any popular IP. If they could buy Disney, that would make sense for them to have that, uh, wanting to have these entertainment uh, properties. Of course, buying Disney is more than a studio. You're buying uh, theme parks and a uh, cruise line. <laughs> I mean, you sell off the ships, I guess. But uh, what do you do with the theme parks? You sell off the rides? I mean, <laughs> it's not Disneyland anymore. What's the point? Uh, but so, uh, but they could do it. Uh, except that the, the big popular properties right now, Marvel and Star Wars, are in dire shape. <laughs> so by the time you get it, yeah. And, of course, the stock is dropping, so it's cheaper, but uh, still, <laughs> uh, what would be the point? Um, and then, of course, Tim Cook's pretty woke himself, so I don't think that's going to solve anything. Uh, but just on paper and whatnot, yeah, they could buy it. Uh, and maybe that's the deal, but again, I still, does that really explain the JPEG move? I don't know. It's just Iger wanted to do it so that he can say he did it and he saved it. And uh, he was just fooling around and let Chapek take the blame for his failures. I guess. I guess that's the deal. And then he does this move, sells Disney to Apple, and then goes out seemingly on top. Um, only in the minds of bubble media. <laughs> you know? I guess that means something to him. I don't know. It's weird, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just a rumor and really just speculation on the part of the, you know, the writer and whatnot and suggesting this might be a deal that's feasible. Um, and, but, uh, still, still mysteries abound there. But anyway, that's the scenario. And, uh, that's, uh, this episode of rumors of rumors. <laughs> uh, and remember, it's just entertainment entities. It's not the end of the world. Um, uh, some of this could be comp- Complete crap. Some of it could be absolutely true. Probably somewhere in between.